Okay, welcome to another Graphics 2 tutorial. Uh, today I'd like to talk about using the tiling tool to generate some nice continuous tiles that are not square. We'll be talking about diametric, also known as isometric incorrectly among the pixel art world. And also I'd like to do some hexagon shaped tiles too. If there's still time, if not, I'll put it in another video. So uh, we need to start by drawing an outline. Um, I'll mention the grid is 8 pixels by uh, 16 pixels. So I'm going to hit the line tool to begin drawing a line, of course. Uh, oops, looks like I still have some of the um, tiling effects on. I'm going to turn that off in tile map. There. Alright, so we'll begin by drawing a line, making some standard um, Okay, so we have our standard, let me delete the brush there by hitting delete key, uh, the standard isometric tile. I'm going to hit B to grab a brush of this, and I'm going to stamp these out. Oops, that got a little off center. I'm going to hit undo to get rid of that mistake. Alright, oh, talk on it. My arm, my hands are jittery tonight. Alright, I'm going to grab this as a brush and hit the Y to flip it on the Y axis. Alright, and then delete to get rid of this brush. Now if we use the tile detection mode with the current settings, um, it would make sense because this is the same as this and this is the same as this. So we'll be able to uh, draw our tiled um, our tiled tile that way. And it, when we draw on one, it'll, it'll mirror that to all the others. Um, diametric uh, tiles are the easiest way, or the easiest ones to do. Uh, the hexagon ones get a little bit more complicated. So anyway, let's go ahead and turn on the tile mode. You can go into E for effects, tile map, and it detected three correctly. That's this tile, this tile, and then these background tiles. Um, okay, so if I draw here, it correctly draws in the same quadrant of all the other ones. I'm going to hit you to undo that. What I want to do now is I want to create a second layer that uh, is just going to be there to show the outline of these so I can turn it on and off. So I'm going to grab this as a brush. You can hit uh, B or you can click the button. We're going to add another layer down here. You can see that's blank and right over the top. I'm going to put that. I'm going to I'm going to go back to layer 1 by left clicking and I'm going to right click layer 2 to temporarily disable it. Now I'm going to pick a nice green, we'll make this a grass cut tile, I'm going to hit delete, I'm going to hit the F key to fill and I'm going to begin filling these in. Now you see we have some overhang and you're just going to have to deal with that until you actually finish with the tile because um, this tile needs to stay recognized as the same as this tile and of course uh, that causes some overhang, so just deal with that temporary annoyance for now. And then I'm going to go right click the um, flood fill. I think it might be actually shift and shift and the shift and F might do that. Let's find out. Yeah, shift and F will do that too. And then I'm going to get rid of this um, white grid here. So now what I can do is I can begin drawing uh, D for draw mode. And we can begin putting some ugly grass in here. You would probably not want this this saturated, but you can see that we have some grass in there. I'm going to turn two on just to see how they look as tiles. And yeah, not too bad. Maybe it needs a little work in there. But you can see how you can work that now doing isometric tiles, which is not immediately intuitive. Okay, so now we'll begin hexagon shaped tiles, which is a little bit more involved. I'm going to delete this layer, I'm going to trash this one, and I'm going to go to, into effects and I'm going to turn off everything I turned on. Uh, the grid can stay the same for now. Alright, so we'll begin by, let me use white for outline color. Oops. I hit line to go into line mode. Okay. 
and these aren't mathematically correct hexagons, but uh, they'll work for games because it doesn't matter that they're not perfect so much. So now we have a hexagon. Um, if we were to just use the tile mode now, it would probably, well, I don't think, yeah, we'd probably be okay to do it that way. All right, let's do it the same way. There might be an error, there might not. Got to remember. Uh, we'll do it like this. Um, and because of the way these line up, you're going to have a thick edge, and the diagonals are going to be a single pixel. But it should look nice in game. Okay, so now we will just kind of make sure. Uh, turn on the effects mode to get the tiles. Grid should be okay the same. I do want to right click tile map. Make sure that these are off and then hit OK and it's correctly detected 5. So let's copy this and we'll create our new brush by hitting B key. Oops. And we're going to grab this as a brush again. Okay. I'm going to create another uh, layer. It's going to be blank. We'll put this down. Okay. We'll go back to 1, right click 2 to turn it off. Uh, you want to do some desert tiles? We can do some desert tiles. Uh, okay, I'm going to hit delete. Get delete, get rid of that brush. F for fill. Oh, you see what happened? It detected these two as the same, and that's not what we wanted. So, what we're going to have to do is delete this layer for now. Go back to 1, and we have to undo until we get back to a single tile. So the problem is, is it's detecting this one and this one is the same one. So we need to make them individual somehow. So I'm just going to put, oh, we still got the tile mode on. So let's hit effect, turn off tile map. All right. So we want to make it so it doesn't detect these as the same. I'm going to drop a different shape in each one of these. Okay. So now it should detect six tiles. I'm going to again make a brush out of this and copy it back like I did originally. And this should work a little bit better this time. Um, you just have to think about when you're doing these 2D tiles, you have to think, you know, is it going to is it going to detect this one and this one being the same? If so, you have to mark them so it detects them differently. All right. So now, if we turn on our tile mode, oh, how do I want to do this? Do I want to copy? Yeah, I'm actually going to make our second layer, our outline layer, right now. And so we'll add another layer. I'm going to plop it down, make sure I'm selected on that layer. Um, just for now, I'm going to I'm going to right-click one to disable one. I'm going to hit delete, and I'm going to get rid of these here. I'm going to hit the back tick key and then select this. Hit F for fill and I'll just begin filling these in. I guess I could turn on tile mode now, but whatever. You'd probably turn on tile mode and you could do the you could do it 6 times as fast this way, but this is all right for now. Hopefully I didn't lose you on that uh in that area of me forgetting to make these middle tiles unique here, but um, I guess by me messing up there, it just proves a point that you need to make sure they're the unique the tiles you want to be uniquely identified need to be unique when you have when you start it. So, okay, now I'm going to go into effects with E, turn tile map, and it detected seven. Let's see, is that right? Okay, got that one. Got this one, this one, this one. Okay. So now let's get a nice desert color. Uh, let's right click this too to turn it off for now. Ah, there we go. That's looking good. Okay, so now let's get rid of the grid, that white grid on the bottom by uh, Shift and F for re color replacement fill, and we'll do that. Now we can easily take and do some nice sand. I'll hit D for draw. And we'll do some nice cool sand. And 
you get the idea here. Kind of dither this in here. Sand can be a lot like water, <laughs> texture wise. Okay. Now let's see how. I'm going to add some highlights too. I guess there's a little bit of time for that. Sand is. tends to have little highlights all over the place as the grains catch the sun. Now let's turn on layer 2 by left clicking and you can see we've quickly quickly generated some nice hexagon sand tiles. So you can use the same technique also if you want to make a how long is this recording going? I don't care. Um, one other tile uh, hexagon hexagon tile style you can do is like this. Let me hit E and turn off my tile map by left clicking and we're gonna have it uh, so the oops undo I'm gonna make a line here we're gonna make it so you know what for this grid I'm gonna hit E I'm gonna go into effects I'm going to let's see now I'm gonna right click this grid I'm gonna make this an 8 you'll see why in a minute I don't want to snap I do want to show Okay, we'll do these, and we're going to do this. Okay, so you could do the same with this one. Um, and the style of this grid, you're going to have diagonals are thin. Oops, undo, U key, uh, and you'll see. Let me hit B, we're going to capture this as a brush. I'm going to hit the X key, flip it around. Wait a minute, what's going on here? Oh, I see, there's an error. So I'm going to hit B for delete, that delete the brush. Um, you can see up here there's an error in the pasting. All right, we'll do brush. Okay, now, now, there we go. Okay, and then what you do is, it's just like this, only you're going to have these six tiles. Now remember, let me hit the delete key, um, you need to make these inner four unique so they don't get recognized because this one is the same as this one otherwise and this one is the same as this one. So you can use the same technique that we used over here um, and you can basically have this kind of look at tile. Uh, how much time am I running on here? Do I have enough time to show that? Uh, we're approaching 12 minutes. Yeah, I don't want to do it. Um, I don't. I, I don't think there's enough time to do another isometric tile. But again, if you stuck with these squares and just mark these the same way, you'd need to basically do them all like that again, so it picks them up across all. But once you got that done you could leave those tiles as 8 by 8s and the program would pick them all up and you could do like we did over here uh, just remember that you don't want to you don't want to clean these edges up until you're done because this tile needs to be the same as this tile while you're working on it but then when you finish uh, or if you're doing transition tiles you can clean that up and the only downside is once you finish one of these tiles and you clean that up it's no longer going to recognize this as this so if you make any changes it's not going to duplicate on these two tiles here. Alright, well, I think that's your tutorial for having non-traditional square tiles for tonight, or I guess it would be today. So um, have a great day and keep doing art.